What's going on guys? Sharpshaw here. Hope you guys are having a great day so far. So today's video, I'm going to be going over 10 survivor crutch perks you need to stop relying on in DVD. Before we get into the 10 perks, I really just want to explain what a crutch perk actually is and the best way to actually use these crutch perks. A crutch perk is kind of like a training wheels perk that if you use too much, you get so used to its ability and you start relying on it too heavily that when it gets pulled away from you and you don't get to use that ability or perk anymore you really struggle without that perks value so obviously being too over reliant on a perk isn't what you want so the best way to actually use these crutch perks is to use them exactly like training wheels when learning how to ride a bike you first put on those training wheels and you learn how to actually ride the bike with the training wheels but once you get really good at riding the bike with the training wheels you then have to eventually take off the training wheels and then kind of quickly relearn how to ride the bike with two wheels and then you're off to your max potential of being able to freely ride a bike with two wheels so that's exactly how you want to use these crutch perks once you need to learn how to do a specific thing in dbd you first want to use one of these crutch perks that helps in giving you a foundation for what you want to learn for example if i want to learn when the killer is coming towards me i'd put on spine chill and once you put on spine chill and you go into some trials you eventually learn how to really use spine chill to identify when the killer is coming at you really easily but once you master the ability to identify identify the killer with the crutch perk in spine chill you then want to take it off and then relearn how to identify when the killer is coming at you without spine chill or without crutch perks and you'll struggle a little bit at first without the ability of the crutch perk in spine chill but you'll learn a lot quicker than if you had just used no spine chill at all because you'll already have the foundation that spine chill gave you and how to identify the killer and you'll be able to learn it a lot easier and it's really important to eventually remove that crutch perk and then move on to the third step step because if you don't you're going to become over reliant on the perk and the longer you stay reliant on that crutch perk the harder it'll be for you to learn how to play without it in spine chill's case it'll be harder and harder for you to identify the killer without spine chill going through these 10 crutch perks i'm going to be ranking them from 10 to 1 based on how much you struggle if you rely too heavily on that perk where if you take it off after over relying on it you'll struggle really hard with number one but not so much with number 10 so yeah without further ado let's get right into the video coming in at number 10 we have self-aware being able to see your own scratch marks will help you be really stealthy and know when to hide and when not to hide but being able to know when to hide or when to be stealthy without actually seeing your scratch marks is pretty important and knowing how far your scratch marks actually stretch without actually seeing them is really important as well being able to play without self-aware will just free up a perk slot while still being able to be stealthy coming in at number nine we have any toy tracking perks perks like small game counter force detectives hunch these perks all help in facilitating you finding totems in the trial but being able to know where totems are on your own and knowing general totem spots on specific maps without these perks is really important and could free up a slot that you could use for any other perk but you'll still be able to find the totems just as easily without the totem tracking perks coming in at number eight we have this is not happening being able to have really easy and really big Big, great skill checks while you're injured with this perk is really nice but if you oddly find yourself being too attached to this perk you're gonna really struggle with great skill checks when you don't have this perk active so if you're gonna be terrible at them without this is not happening you definitely don't want that and you want to be able to hit great skill checks consistently without needing a perk to do that coming in number seven we have empathy empathy is really good information and i actually recommend running this perk after you've mastered the knowledge of being able to know where your survivors should be around the trial but over relying on this perk and only knowing where your survivors are because of empathy and because they're injured isn't good because you want to be able to run no perks and know the general locations of where your injured survivors should be headed whether that's to a gen you guys have been working on to a boon circle of healing or to an unhooked survivor you should be able to find them on your own without this perk because if you do it'll be really good in your long run success in the trials and this logic kind of applies to bond as well you should really be able to know where your survivors should be around the trial without actually being able to see them coming in number six we have off the record i also definitely recommend running this perk once you've mastered the ability to loop after being unhooked it's really good but over relying on that second hit is not good at all for your looping you want to be able to loop for as long as you can without getting hit or getting down especially after an unhook when you're injured so being able to survive as long as 
as you can before actually using off the record is really good rather than using off the record earlier than you probably would have if you were over reliant with off the record coming in number five we have self-care i know self-care kind of sucks now but this kind of applies to most perks or a med kit or things that allow you to self-heal you need to learn how to play injured in trials and be able to play safe while still being one shot to the killer not always having a heal in your back pocket and whenever you get injured you instantly go and heal just to stay healthy in the trial because if you don't you're gonna be wasting so much time healing in trials and that's just not great for working on gens or helping your teammates coming in number four we have kindred this is another perk i highly recommend running after you've mastered the ability to know where the killer is going after a hook and again where your survivor should be around the trial when a hook happens because kindred gives you all of that information just with one perk but if you can know all of that information without using kindred it'll help you so much in the trials in being really efficient and knowing okay should i be going for this hook or should i be staying on this gen or is this a good time to unhook right now because it'll be a safe unhook and the killer is nowhere near and maybe even knowing where the killer is going after they hook like okay they're probably coming to my gen because it's like 90 percent complete or okay i know there's survivors healing over at killer shack and the killer knows this too and they're probably going over there there's so many little scenarios that kindred robs you of identifying yourself and it kind of just gives it to you on a silver platter so being able to know these scenarios without kindred is super important coming in number three we have spine chill this perk is still really good in identifying when the killer is coming near you but like i said in the analogy in the very beginning of the video you need to learn to know when the killer is coming at you without this perk because it'll literally free up a perk slot for you knowing when the killer is coming at you and it'll help you get out of really sticky situations of either hiding from the killer or getting a huge headshot in the chase without needing a perk to do so and this logic also kind of applies to premonition but who uses premonition anyways <laughs> coming in number two we have windows of opportunity this is a perk that you really really do not want to get over relying on because if you don't learn to know where pallets should be around your location or where windows should be you're gonna find yourself struggling super hard and you're gonna feel super lost in chases without this perk and being able to loop without this perk will just free up a perk slot that you can use for an even better perk finally coming in number one you guys probably could have guessed it but it's every single exhaustion perk in the game sprint burst life balance landing smash hit overcome dead heart especially all of these exhaustion perks that are in dvd you don't want to be reliant on in chases to bail you out from sticky situations you want to be able to properly loop without using these exhaustion perks because if you are able to do that adding exhaustion perks will only make your loops even better rather than if you had always relied on exhaustion perks you would use that in your basic loops just to try and survive and you don't have that edge up on the competition against the killer because you rely on that exhaustion perk and you need that perk to even survive in the loop in the first place not to escape it so you've definitely been seeing a lot of people struggling in this new update with dead heart being nerfed because they were so reliant on the distance that gave them in the chase that when it got taken away from them they really struggled to put distance on the killer because they were just so used to dead heart giving them that free distance so you definitely want to be able to learn how to loop without it or else you'll fall into the same trap of struggling to loop without the perk so yeah guys those are the 10 survivor perks you don't want to be too reliant on there's a common theme with all these perks in that if you're able to succeed in trials without these 10 perks they'll just free up perk slots that you can use for even better perks that will help you be even better in the trials because you'll already have the knowledge that the crutch perk had given you in your mind you won't even need a perk to help you with them so yeah guys i hope this was helpful and if you guys have any questions on how to play without certain crutch perks definitely comment them down below and i'll try and answer them the best i can and viewers watching the video can answer as well and also let me know if you'd want to see this video but for the killer perks and any killer crutch perks so yeah guys that's been the video thank you guys so much for watching leave a like and subscribe if you're new this has been sharp shot and i will see you guys in the next video